So the MacBook is fully closed now and now the monitor just acts as a display so everything that was on the MacBook is now on here. <laughs> Hey what's up guys welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a tutorial on how to connect your MacBook to a monitor in closed display or clamshell mode. This video is going to work for MacBooks that came out in 2015 or newer. The ones that have USB-C or Thunderbolt 3 ports. So some things you'll need is of course an external display whether that's a monitor or a TV. You're going to need the power adapter that came with the MacBook. An external keyboard and mouse just because the computer is going to be closed which means you won't be able to use the actual keyboard and trackpad so you're going to need something else. Now you can get a mouse and keyboard that use USB, you're just going to need to buy a USB-C to USB adapter in order to use those accessories. Now the easiest way to do this would just be to get a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard. That's what I do, it's super simple and it just connects wirelessly right to the MacBook. The next item you're going to need is a USB-C to HDMI adapter and lastly a high quality HDMI cord. Now I will link all of the products down below in the description if you do need to pick them up. And last time I made this video a lot of people wanted to know which keyboard and mouse and monitor that I'm using so I'll try to link those down below as well. So I've got the MacBook right here. All you're going to do is get your USB-C to HDMI adapter. Just plug the USB-C end into the computer. So you plug it right into the USB-C port. Then you just get your HDMI, plug it into the adapter and the other end into the monitor. And once the HDMI is plugged in, then you're going to have a multi-screen like this, which means it's like one giant screen. So if I move this over here, now the image is over there and not on the left, but we want this bad boy closed. So let's go ahead and connect the power now. And now that the MacBook is connected to its power, I can go ahead and close this guy and now it's going to turn into my actual computer. So the MacBook is fully closed now and now the monitor just acts as a display so everything that was on the MacBook is now on here and then I've got my Bluetooth keyboard and mouse in order to use the actual computer and that's pretty much it. And this won't damage the computer because most Macs have auto cutoff power so basically what it does is it cuts the power when the battery is full and continues to charge when it's at a certain percentage which normally is about 80%. Now this is in place so that the MacBook doesn't overcharge and then overheat which would damage the computer and then for connecting Bluetooth devices like a keyboard or mouse you just go to system preferences click Bluetooth and then make sure it's turned on then you put your devices into pairing mode and connect them to the Mac now one thing to keep in mind is the MacBook can get pretty warm depending on what kind of work you're doing for someone like myself that does a lot of photo and video editing along with everyday regular use I've never had a problem with it but just be aware of the temperature and if it is getting pretty warm just go ahead and take a break let it cool down so that you can avoid any type of damage to the computer but like I said everything should be okay because of the auto cutoff power. So guys that's how you do clamshell mode for the MacBook. All it is is really getting the right adapters and then connecting it to a power source and then just closing it. Super simple and like I said if you guys do need any adapters, monitor, keyboard, mouse, whatever I'll leave links down below so that you guys can pick some up. So if this video helped you out make sure you like and subscribe. One reminder before I go is I am giving away a PlayStation 5 once 10,000 subs has been hit. All you have to do is follow my Instagram at Austin underscore meds. Send me a DM saying PS5 and that's pretty much it. You're entered. So good luck. But anyways, this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching. I hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you guys in the next video. So before we get into how to do clamshell mode, basically what you're going to do.